light hiking. We have a few exciting new things coming out in spring 20 for light hiking. Uh, one of which is going to be the Maverick Mid uh, GTX. So this is a Gore-Tex boot, uh, super waterproof, super durable. Uh, and this thing's going to be awesome because it's going to be 169 bucks. So a sub $200 boot from Scarpa is not always a common thing. Uh, you know, cause well, it's always fine hand built Italian footwear and that doesn't come to you very cheap. Done a few things to get the price down on this, which I don't think were any great sacrifices. Uh, we did move away from Vibram for the outsole, but we're actually using some rubber from Continental. So it's super, uh, super durable there. Uh, really aggressive lug pattern on the bottom. So lots of good traction. Uh, we have some TPU welding up here on the side to give this thing a lot of good torsional rigidity. And you know, it's just gonna be a good basic all around hiker right out of the box. Really lightweight roomy in the front end you know scarpa's had the propensity in the past to be a little narrow in the forefoot just kind of following that european model with a lot of asymmetry but here we're going to see a really symmetrical last and a little bit of extra room on the outside of the shoe just to make sure that this boot's going to be really comfortable and uh, uh, fits well right out of the box also new in that light hike slash run category is going to be the rush now the rush is kind of trying some really new things when it comes to footwear. And uh, that's gonna come down to the IKS system, uh, the internal kinetic system that is worked into this shoe. Now, uh, the model that's gonna come out, we changed the outsole just a little bit, but I wanna use this old sample to show you the IKS system in theory, what it looks like, and know that this is on the inside of the new shoe as it comes out. So the IKS really is about mapping the foot. So what we have here are these indented zones over the spots and points where the shoe has pressure. Those lugs, if you look at it, actually sit underneath the front part of the shoe. So as you come through and apply weight into those locations on the, on the inside of the shoe, it's gonna push that IKS system out and you're actually gonna get uh, traction when you need it under that section of the shoe. But otherwise, when you're not actually employing a hard step, that's gonna be out of the way and uh, putting a little less rubber to the road, uh, hopefully making this shoe feel a lot lighter weight and moving under the foot and as you travel. Um, also new this season is going to be the Rush. So the Rush is, uh, you know, it kind of lives in the run category, but I also think it fits really well in light hike. Uh, we're seeing a lot less people wearing boots these days out on the trail and most people realize that a pound on the foot is five in the back and, uh, uh, sorry, five, a pound on the foot is five on the back and that, you know, a lightweight shoe can be a lot more comfortable for long hikes and things like that. As people, you know, packs are lightening up for big weekend trips and stuff like that. You just don't really need that burly of a boot. So the shoe's coming into place and running shoes and light hiking shoes are really feeling that spot. The new Rush from Scarpa is going to be a killer in the category. Uh, you've got a big cushy EVA midsole uh, with a stiffened support here to provide a little bit, a bit more uh, structure under the heel. Uh, you have the IKS system which actually maps out pressure spots in the foot and applies extra traction uh, when you bear down on those zones so it pushes the lug out and it actually engages uh, the earth a little bit more. High TPU welding on here, so the side of the shoe is going to be really burly with a nice mesh uh, ventilation system underneath that. That is going to be the new rush coming out for this spring 20.